Um, well, it's, it is a show about a uh, very tight-knit mother-daughter relationship, very similar to my relationship. Your own disease my relationship own with sick, your mother. My own sick relationship <laughs> out here with my point. mother, Kathy Wigfield, who's <laughs> desperate to get on camera, camera right now. Um, but yeah, that, at, at its heart, it's about a, a mom and a daughter, and uh, the story is about a millennial girl who works at a cable news show and is sort of trying to make it and worrying, is it is it too late? Am I never going to achieve my big dreams and at the same time her mom who's like uh, in her 60s and like my mom never went to college and never had a big career kind of realizes you know maybe it's not too late to go after a big dream and says I'm gonna start today and gets an internship at her daughter's job because it's the only uh, connection she has to uh, any, <laughs> any kind of professional Use industry. Your connections. Yeah. Networking. And she networks yeah. with her daughter. Whenever you're creating a show, what you're trying to do is find a reason for people with different points of view to be stuck with each other in the same room. And that's why office comedies and family comedies have kind of been the mainstays. And what Tracy has done is figured out how to, how to combine the two, which is amazing. It's like a Reese's peanut butter cup. Yeah, it's something, for, it's something for everybody. Do you like chocolate? Do you like peanut butter? Oh, do you like wrappers? Are you definitely allergic <laughs> to peanut butter? Then be just eat the chocolate part. It's not just uh, Katie and Carol, it's the whole ensemble of the workplace, which gives, gives you all kinds of different people for them to interact with and, and to have you know, different cross relationships with it felt very, very funny and fertile. There's another big funny comedy character, Chuck, who is, uh, he is Carol's age and kind of the only person at this new show who is uh, who is older than everybody else who He's works there. He's one of there. the anchors. He's one of the anchors on the show. And uh, he, you know, in a similar way to other characters, feels very frustrated in his career. He maybe was on a trajectory to be a nightly news anchor and kind of never got the big job and now has been relegated to this cable news show and he's like very frustrated by it. And meanwhile, his co-host, Portia, uh, who is uh, kind of a young newcomer who maybe got her start on you know an episode of Platinum Weddings or something, is now a newscaster with him, uh, his co-anchor, and she's sort of on her way up while he feels like he's a little bit on his way down. There's also this character Justin, uh, played by Horatio Sands. So we're big fans, obviously. And uh, it's kind of that work relationship where you wouldn't necessarily be friends outside of work, but he's her editor and they spend a lot of time in a little room together and he has a lot of opinions about her life. Uh, and she really only wants to talk about her life. I think there's a lot in here that is relatable and, and it's a celebration of moms in, in kind of a nice way. I, I want it to be as much as it's about this mother-daughter relationship. It's an ensemble comedy like 30 Rock, like The Office, um, that you really love everyone who works at this office. And, and I think for Carol and Katie, uh, down the road as, you know, as they move forward on their paths in their career, uh, you know, it, I want their relationship to change too, that Carol sees Katie more as a, a, a real human being and not, not an appendage of her. And, and Katie sees Carol as you know, as kind of worthwhile in new ways as well. I think a recipe for a good show is finding a group of characters that you feel you want to hang out with during that 21 minutes and 15 seconds a week.